always in loving memory of the Black Mamba, Kobe Bryant. So, um, here we go. This is a bit of a test. I'm currently voiceovering it instead, so I can kind of explain some of the stuff that I'm doing during the process. But what we've got here is potentially a 10 minutes of kind of hit training every single day that I'm going to potentially run online. This is more of a little test, as you can see, it's pretty rough at the moment. Still hanging up some Christmas washing. I'm doing it out of the back of a notebook. Um, it's just, just a test to see if it's worth doing at this stage. Um, but yeah, I've just picked up my stopwatch there, as you can see. I'm going to whack that on my wrist. So the premise of uh, what I'm going to make you do during the next 10 minutes or so uh, is literally hit training. So for the sake of today's one, it's 30 seconds on of an exercise and then 30 seconds chilling. So you can keep back and relax. Um, as you can see, today's session is brought to you by Fat Losers Hoodies. Um, really good hoodies. Love them. You know, you know how it is. <laughs> Terrible plug-in. Terrible plug-in. Right, so, copy me. Have a look at the video. Watch what I'm doing. Uh, I'm just loosening up here, doing a bit of dynamic warm-ups. So, arms twisting front and back. Get your hips moving, because mine haven't been for a, a long old while. Well, that's not true. They have been, but just not as uh, not as much as I would have liked over lockdown. So, eventually, this tashed man, this poo-tashed man is going to get himself moving. But yeah, just copy along. We've got little hip raises, hip openers. And I'm sure during the video, we have a little visitor as well. Um, but yeah, we'll see. So, first exercise you're going to run through on this 30 on, 30 off session is star jumps. I want you to set either set a watch or set your phone for 30 seconds. I'm just doing a little bit of light jogging on the spot before we start here. Really getting into it. Watch the sprint. Here it comes. It's coming. There it is. <laughs> Okay, I'm just checking my timer to see when we're going to actually get going at this stage. But I hope you had a lovely new year and a lovely Christmas. And uh, let's hope that 2021 is a little better, eh? Right, here we go. Mm -hmm. Set one. So exercise one. The other thing is, we can do this. You can do this as many times as you want. You can re-watch this as many times as you want. Uh, and you can do it with socks on if you want as well. That's also nice. Instead of looking at my, my nasty feet. Right, here we go. Star jumps. Three, two, one. Go. Look at that performance. That's a clean star jump. I uh, also did this whole 10 minutes in my hoodie, um, even though I was absolutely sweating out, just to kind of, you know, advertise that hoodie as much as physically possible. <laughs> You'll see me checking my watch quite a lot because, uh, as my clients might tell you, I'm pretty sharp on my timing, so I like to be on the ball with that. Okay, first 30 seconds out. More of a warm-up exercise, that one. So you can just sit back and take in a little 30 seconds rest here. Get yourself set for exercise two, which is going to be ab workouts or kind of hand workouts. So what you do is you set yourself up nice and far back, and then you crawl yourself out out in front. This is kind of the, the simple version of this exercise to start. Three, two, one, walking out onto your hands and then coming all the way back up. That's it. Probably get about six done in this time. That'd be a, that'd be a good speed, but there's no rush. So don't try and overdo it. Just do as many as you can do in the time. At this stage, my watch was done up so tight. It was absolutely digging into the back of my wrist. So Try and avoid that as well because it's not very comfortable to go down on your hand when it's literally been squeezed so tight. There we go. That's the end of the 30. Take a second. Okay. Easy going start. Easy going start. Just to loosen the cockles a little bit. So, next up we're going to have a mountain climber, everyone's favourite exercise. So, we'll be getting in that kind of mm -hmm. sprint position. Um, on, on the press-up position, on the floor, and uh, literally pumping your knees left and right up towards your stomach. Mm -hmm. So you want to engage your core muscles as you do that. Here we go. 
three, two, one, go. As you can see here, I've loosened the watch a little bit, so I'm not absolutely dying. But yeah, we're running those knees into the kind of back of the arms here, and at the same time, keeping your core nice and tight, so you're getting a good contraction on your abs too. Not long to go now. Don't want to overdo it on day one, but there is some hard aspects to it too. And relax. Good job, guys. Nice work. There's the first little bit of sweat on the old brow. Feeling good. We're okay. We're okay at this stage. So moving on, your next exercise is going to be a, a kind of version of a burpee, but a more simplified version. So you're going to lay down on your front and then just stand up. Nice and simple. Lay on your chest. Pick yourself up. Burpee. <laughs> This is some bad acting. Here we go. Three, two, one, go. Here's the little visitor. Can you see her yet? In the corner. She's there. I've told her not to come in. Oh, oh, is she going to go for it? Go, go, go. There she is. She's not happy about that, by the way. And of course, as this is a uh, bit of a rusty first attempt at doing something like this, the washing's now in the way. So... But we can work around that. Look, this is real life, guys. This is this ain't Instagram live perfect stories. You know, this is uh, this is how it really is, right? That's the end of your set. That's the end of your set. Take a rest. You've got about 20 seconds to just get a breather here. Right. Next up, you can do this without a weight or with a weight. It's totally up to you. You're going to do body weight squats. I'm doing it with a dumbbell high holding up on the chest. But the squats only come up three quarters of the way up. So it's like a full downward squat, but then you're only coming up to about three quarters of the way up. Here we go. Go. Look at the action. So nice and low. Knees don't go past the top of the toes. And you can also see that my knees aren't quite ever straightening. And this way you just get pure tension on the quads. The glutes are working hard. Hamstrings are going at it too. And also your core's engaged. So it's a nice, once again, full body exercise. Almost there. Almost there. This is hurting. This is definitely hurting. <laughs> and that's the end of your set. Perfect timing. Charlotte just... Uh, that's my lovely lady Charlotte, by the way. Lady of the house. Just checking in that I'm okay. My filming's going all right. A little kiss there, a little cheeky one. She walks past. What a girl. What a girl. Right, coming up next, we've got plank position star jumps now you can if you can't do this you just do normal plank okay or rock your body side to side but here elbows down feet together hop out side to side 30 seconds have begun so i'm just jumping out and back i'm just changing my angle up so you can see what's going on here as well there you go how'd you like them apples Nicki Minaj, eat your heart out. There we go. Not long to go now. Last kind of five seconds, I reckon. Two. Look at that. Perfect timing. There we go. That's the end of that set. Still got the hoodie on at this stage, but I can promise you I'm absolutely melting. Um, I had my little window open in my spare room, and that was giving me a nice little cool breeze. Right, jump squats coming up next. So we're going to go in to out. The fringe is gone now. I can see it right. 10 seconds. So you want to start with your feet together on this one. And then you're going to hop out to the side and then kind of go down and then just bring yourself back up to the top. So here we go. Off we go. Once again, trying to get those glutes down to kind of knee height, trying to get your hips down to about knee height. But if you can't, don't worry. You know, you don't have to go kind of super full extension. Your body will tell you where you can go. So go to where you know you can work nicely. This isn't about overdoing it at this stage. Um, I find January time, that's one of the biggest problems that everyone kind of tends to do is, is overdo it. So just go to where you feel good. Looks like last couple of seconds now. That's it. Relax. Well done. Okay, not many more to go now. I think just probably maybe two exercises. This is my awful writing that I'm just displaying for you at the minute. Um, do I move the washing? I think I'm going to move that washing in a second. Bicycle sit-ups coming up next. So laying on your back, elbows to knees, elbows to knees, kind of like you're riding a bike. Here we go. Uh-oh, uh-oh, there you go. What a push. Three, two, one. 
Or if you go grab your head kind of loosely, that you don't want to pull your neck up because you don't want to strain your neck either. And we're just kind of keeping your shoulders lifted off the floor. Meanwhile, you're just bringing those elbows across to the opposite knee each time. And the whole time, you're just kind of wrenching your stomach so you can feel a good bit of tension across your, across your abs. Now, with limited time, although not all this exercise is hard, the fact that you've only got 30 seconds to recover each time, that's, that's where we're raising your cardio levels a little bit. And you get a good burn too, so... And that's time on your bicycle setup. So, just checking the old book now. Now, this is a bit of a tricky one. I think, I reckon, this is probably the finisher. Um, I might have added something at the end, but I'm not entirely sure. Oh, yeah, I did. Right, okay, so I added a little sneaky one here. So, if you've got these, great, but if you haven't, don't worry about it. Uh, they're just lightweight plates, or you can have little tiny dumbbells. We're going to do some boxing here, so they're just little kind of... One foot in front of the other, and we're just jabbing. So 30 seconds of fast jabbing out in front. Nice and quick. Just keep the pump constant. Don't stop, kind of, don't drop your pace at any time. Just punching hard. Look at that head going. I felt like I was going so fast here, but <clears throat> looking back, it's never quite as pretty as you think it is. Keep going. <laughs> Check the old watch there. Right, almost there. Last few seconds. And relax. Good job. Okay, right. Here's our finisher. You've got about a minute of, uh, well, 30 seconds rest, 30 seconds exercise to go now. So we're almost there. I hope you've enjoyed it. I hope it's been a good sweat up for you. Um, I know it was for me. So there it is. A little, little dabsio there. It's enough for, for Joel Squires PT to get us on. I reckon you'll have a good time doing it too. So here we go. Kind of send you down, send, send yourself down on the wall, and then what you're going to do is you're just going to extend one leg at a time out in front, straight. So you could do a wall sit, that's fine, or you can add the little leg kicks here. And you want to kind of brace your elbows against the back of the wall just for balance sake here, and that's going to help you kind of continue to stay up on the wall. Otherwise, you're going to kind of constantly slide down the wall. So just kicking out straight, like a little leg extension, really. This. And I can tell you today, I am feeling this, so it did a job on me, <laughs> so it should do a good job on you to start your new year. Right, that's time, guys. Great job. That's the end. Fat losers out. Thanks for joining me today. I've got paint all over my back now. Really happy with that. That's from the uh, freshly painted walls, but that dusted off fine, so all good. Love you guys. See you soon.